The secret to making sustainable, lasting money in the marketplace, my people, is not day trading until you get advanced in that skill. When you're a newbie, the number one thing I recommend that you do to get your feet wet to make good money and lower your risk is the wheel option strategy of selling cash secured puts. And that way, if you was to happen to get caught and you lose your money, you have a hundred shares you own of the stock, and then you can in turn put that back up in the marketplace and make money on it. What is the goal ultimately? To have your money make money for you so that you can take your time and do other things that you enjoy. That's what we call life gains on this channel. And in this video, I'm going to put you guys on my Robinhood account, show you how to start the wheel strategy of option trading via selling puts, what happens if you was to get caught losing that money and be stuck with stock, and how you make profit on both ends. This video is designed to help you get motivated to saving your money so that you can put it in the market and let that money make money for you. Please subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, let's jump on my Mac and jump into my Robinhood account so that you guys can learn the basis of selling puts and doing the wheel strategy. We are in my Robinhood account and this is the secret to making long-term extra money on stocks beyond what you do to invest to see the stock grow. And so I'm going to take you guys to an extreme example just so that you can get motivated because the goal with this video is to show you how you can make weekly and monthly income in the stock market and basically have it on autopilot. And so some of the big extremes would be for selling puts would be, let's do Shopify for example. All right. And I'll walk you through how to do everything. I'll give you some technical um, analysis, but this video is not about the technical part. It's more so about just the process. And I want you guys to get motivated when you see the kind of income you can make. So what banks and insurance companies don't tell you is that all that money they siphon out of you and possibly never use, they do the same thing. They come in here and sell puts. And so on Robinhood, you would come in here to where it says trade shop options. And this is these are your options. You can buy, sell, call, or a put. Remember, when you buy a call, you're buying thinking that the stock is going to go up. And when you sell a call, excuse me, when you buy when you buy and when you sell a call, that means you pretty much already have 100 shares of said stock and you're putting them up in the marketplace. Now with selling a put, the reason they call this the wheel strategy is because you start out with cash. So you have to have enough money in your bank account. Let me scroll down here to where the prices are, all right? So for example, today, the price of Shopify is $1,478. And in order to sell a put and be efficient on it, you always come up here and you pick in the expiration date. I like to pick the Friday coming. When I get into selling puts, I always wait till Wednesday, jump in. That means my money is only going to be at risk in the market for three days. And when I say money, what I'm saying is, you come down here and you pick a number that you feel comfortable with and they tell you the chances of profit, 70%, 68%, so forth and so forth. And then you would click in here and what happens from this is you would have to buy one contract. One contract of this stock would be 100 times this number right here. And that would be the amount of cash you would need to have in your bank account. And so right now, 100 times 1475 would mean you need to have a hundred and forty seven thousand five hundred dollars in your bank account and if you was to pick this you would get this premium up front and so because i said one contract equals 100 again you would multiply 100 times 21.65 would equal they're going to pay you for four days because this is a tuesday they're going to immediately deposit in your account $2,165, but your cash is sitting out here at risk for a week. And so what happens if 
the stock price drops below this or ties this. If the stock price ties this price on Friday when the market closes, you're going to be stuck with 100 shares of Shopify, which is not bad because you still get to keep the premium they paid you, which was $2,165. And so what you would then do if you were to get stuck with the stock, you would take those 100 shares of Shopify and the very next week, you would come in here and you would sell a call at or above this same price. And you would get paid $2,320 for putting those shares back up in the market. And that's why they call it the wheel strategy. Because if you ever got stuck with the stock itself, all you didn't have to do is turn around and sell a call on those same shares and you get your premium for that. And then if you was to pick a number above this, let's say you went up to 1480, your premium is going to be a little less, but you're also going to get an extra five. You're going to get an extra five dollars per hundred shares. So that'd be five hundred dollars. Now, if you got lost in here, let me explain it again. You sold you you sold a put and the stock price dropped to this number or below. And now you stuck with 100 shares. You would just turn around, put those shares back into the market the very next week at the same price you got stuck with or higher. I like to go higher because I also want to make a profit on the difference between what I got stuck with, which would be 1475 and 1480. So that be five dollar difference and five dollars times 100 shares because one contract equals 100 shares will be an extra five hundred dollars on top of this 19 this 1985 that they're going to pay you up front that's why they call this thing the wheel strategy it is a pretty much win-win unless you have a week where the market tanks really really bad and you get stuck with shares that drop way down here somewhere and so how do you overcome that so what I always do to overcome that is I never pick the price just below the share price. Because if you're someone who wants to get your money back every single week, you never want to get stuck with the shares, you're not going to be able to come up here and try to get $1,980 every week. You're going to have to go to a number that's far below the share price. And see, they tell you their chances of profit. That's one thing. But what I always tend to look at is implied volatility which means how much how much are people jumping in and out of the stock the lower this number the better i typically try not to go higher than 75 depending upon the stock and when this number is really high your premium is going to be high they're going to pay you more but at the same time that means you've got a whole lot of more risk that you could lose your money and then for the delta i like my delta to be 30 or lower and you see right here on this one it's 29. So that is the wheel strategy, my people. This is how you can make money weekly in the stock market. And with this, this type of stock, if you've got 150000 or more sitting around, doing nothing, just sitting in a bank account, why not get in here and be making $2,000 a week, which will equal about eight grand a month eventually, and you'd be doing some big numbers. But for those of you who want to do a smaller, smaller company, let me get in here and check out... Uh, another one for you so you can see the same thing and I can repeat this all over again and try to help you understand it. So let's just say that you don't have 100000 but you do got 10000 sitting in a savings account. You could try rocking with some AMD. They tend to be very, very stable. And so the process for this one would be I want to sell a put. Check the date, which will be this coming Friday. Today is Tuesday. Scroll down till it gets you where the share price is currently at, which is right here at 105. And then you start looking at the risk. What is your risk going to be? 73% of getting your money back here as of Tuesday. And implied volatility is great. The delta is a little high for me at 32. I like 30 or less. So I would come down here, check out this number. Delta is really low here and the volatility is low, but you're only going to get paid for putting your six, your 10 grand out there. You're only going to get paid $69. And so, you know, a lot of people would be willing to take a little bit more risk knowing that you can do this strategy. And as long as you pick a good company, if it drops and you lose your share, you lose the money, a good company is going to always go back up. 
So that's why the other thing with this strategy is, ladies and gentlemen, you have to pick a quality company. Um, your AMDs, your Apples, your Amazons, your Shopify's, your Amelia Carte Libre, all those so that you can ensure that you keep this wheel going and you don't get left out the wheel for a couple of weeks waiting for a share price to get back to what you lost it at. And so, ladies and gentlemen, that is the wheel strategy. And I just want you guys to get motivated. I'm going to take you to one more so that you can just see what you can do in your life to save more money so that you can get in this game and do exactly what the insurance company been doing for years, what banks do with all your money for years. Let's go take a look at my favorite one to do this option strategy on, which is Amazon. All right. So immediately when you see this price of Amazon, you know you're going to have to have, let's do 100 times 3470, 3470. You're going to need to have somewhere in your bank account around $3,447,000, all right? Now, of course, there's other stocks you can use before you get to this point, but I just want to show you the power of having excess cash sitting around and get you motivated to start saving money and investing it so it can grow so that you can get to the point where you can have enough cash to do these secured puts and make money weekly. So let's go into Amazon and let's get down to this share price and see what they're doing down around the share price that Amazon is currently trading at. So get you guys motivated. OK, so we're going to click sell, put and we want it to be for Friday. Then click me all the way back up. Come back down here. Where are you? Come on, man. There we go. All right. So we're going to sell a put for this coming Friday. Now, if you want to be really, really risque, you believe in Amazon and you know Amazon tends to be pretty stable. If they drop 5%, they go back up 5% within a week. You could come right here and pick this one right here. Now, let's just check the, the numbers you must check. Implied volatility, great. Way below 75. Delta is a little high, but I do risk my delta a little higher than 30 when it's a quality stock like Amazon. So I would take this risk play. So you would need, if you was to multiply 3,465 by 100, because remember, it's 100 shares in a contract. You would need 3,000, you would need $346,500. That's what you would be putting up for four days to earn this right here and what is that right there 34.63 times 100 that is three thousand four hundred and sixty three dollars you're going to get paid for putting that money in the marketplace for four days ladies and gentlemen there are not many jobs out there that pay that much money in a week and let's just to say you decided to go with this what robin hood has done now is when you click on it they show you a chart of how you make money. They show you like the, the profit loss and your max profit is going to be what they just paid you, which is $3,460. Now they tell you that your max loss could be the 343 that you put up, um, 343 that you put up and that's minus in this right here. But is anybody ever worried that Amazon is going to within a week fall off the map? No. So that's why I say you always pick a quality stock, quality company, and you won't have to worry about this. And if you did get stuck owning 100 shares, you just sell a call the very next week, get paid the premium up front, and then you get your money back and you start the system all over again. So from here, you would just click continue uh, one contract, which is 100 shares, like I said, and then they would give you the limit price and your limit price could be three um, 3460 basically is this number over here but what um, Robin Hood does is they try to put a number in the middle so that it goes through and then you would just click review and this is what they say they're telling you to update it to that 3460 because it's in the middle of what people are um, buying and selling in terms of this contract and then you would click update review order and if you had that much money in there, it would, it would execute it for you. But I don't have um, 
$346,000 in my account right now, but I am going to start doing these on a weekly basis to show you guys how to get them done. And then from there, you would come back to portfolio and you would see the option over here in your top sidebar of all your activity. So ladies and gentlemen, that is it. Please, please find a way in your life to start saving all the money you can and start doing this strategy because you're basically making money while you're asleep. You're not having to worry about too much of the ups and downs of the market. This is not day trading. This is not even swing trading. This is you being the house money at Vegas because everybody who is buying a call, they're buying a call from the people that are selling puts. And if you want to see some other stocks that I have in here, that could be good, safe starter stocks that you could do this strategy. Because when you first do this, you're probably going to be nervous as hell. You're like, man, that's a lot of money. So you see, I've got a list in here that says $100 or less puts for stocks that you can pick. And then here I've got a bunch of them, good RX, GM. Well, this used to be less than $100 and they just took off. Micro, Micron Technology, that's a good one. Um, J Fraud, General Mills, these are all very, very stable stocks. Plug, so let's go in here and do one more example with Plug. So Plug is 2480. So that means you would need what, 2000, wait a minute, about, yeah, about 2400 some odd dollars. We'll click Trade Plug. You're selling a put and you want it to end this coming Friday, which it does. And then you scroll down here to the share price, which is we're right here at the share price. And you always pick a number below. Always pick the number below. And so if you was to pick the 24 strike, and I would advise you if you're doing this for the very first time, just to get your feet wet and build some confidence, always aim for a chance of profit around 75 or better. So I would encourage you to pick this one, $23. And remember, one contract is 100 shares. So you would be having a need in your bank account or in this Robinhood account, 23 times 100, which is $2,300. And for four days, they're going to pay you 100 times 0.25 is $25. Now, I know you're laughing like, why would I risk 2300 in a week for $25? Okay, you let's just say you did that. You've done this strategy for four weeks. Get your money back. Keep doing the same thing. You will have made off that $2,300 by the end of the month. That would be $100 you made, and nobody is paying that much interest on $2,300 in a savings account. Nobody. You're not going to find that anywhere. So that's why I say, ladies and gentlemen, if you've got a lot of money in some savings accounts and you want to start earning a little more, this is the perfect place to go. But I highly recommend before you jump into a big stock and you're all nervous and sweaty, you try it out with these smaller stocks and you make those life gains. That's going to do it for this video, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget to like the video. Please comment, subscribe, join me on Instagram, DM me if you have questions. Um, I'm trying to build a network with my life gainers out here who are getting um, fiscally fit as well as physically fit which equals life gains on this channel. And I want to see you guys make money because the money is here. And for those of you that don't want to be a day trader, like I said, I'm not really a day trader. I see certain companies and if I see them drop a low enough percent, I know the quality of the company. I just jump right on them. But this is my mainstay strategy and I want you guys to give it a try. Until that next sexy as hell video, I'll see you.